Great day, everyone. This is Dr. AJ, the wife Panor. Change the way you think, look, and feel about your marriage and sex. I like to call it marriage to see where marriage and ecstasy collides. So, ladies, I want to specifically talk talk to you ladies. Um, intimacy and sex is important. Now, I know growing up, um, our 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 mothers, grandmothers try to make us feel so shameful about our sexuality. Time out for that these days. You don't need to be deprived any longer from your spouse. You don't need to be sexually neglected any longer. There's things that you can do to bring the spark back into your marriage. Sex is needed. That is a spirit, not just a physical connection, emotional, but it's a spiritual connection between you and the one that you said that you would love to death do you part. Now, sometimes it doesn't work that way to death do you part, but still the one that you said and vowed before your family and God that you was going to love forever. And so I want to have a conversation. We're just going to have a conversation today. And I don't want you to feel ashamed about how you're feeling as a woman that you have needs. Every woman has sexual needs. I don't care who you are. You still have that urge to want to be phys- physical with your significant other. And so I'm going to help you and give you some tips on how to have the conversation up, up, about sex with your husband. And there are... Um, there are like five things I want to I want to tell you that you can do that will help open the communication and and get on to rope to repairing that part of your marriage, because over fifty percent of marriages, and fifty percent of marriages, parent you read magazines, I read magazines like Parents and Family, relationship magazines, and they say over fifty percent of marriages end up in marriages, and you know there's three reasons why. Three, three main reasons, communication, finances, and sex. So your communication, you say, okay, we, you know, communication is a little off, but we're working on it. Finances is fine, but then you're not intimate. Not saying that your spouses, you guys are intimate with, you know, bringing extra marriage, because we're not talking about that. That, that. that is just not tolerated. However, you miss that part of your life. And sometimes it might just be, it could be stress or it might be some, but there might be some things that you can very easily fix um, to repair that part of your marriage. Okay. So women, you know, you need to talk to your husband about sex when you are unhappy, when you're just not being fulfilled. It's just boring. You're just like, "Mm." not today and you're making up reasons why you don't want to have sex like oh my head hurts or uh it's that time of the month i'm cramping um i'm just so tired because i just been you know the kids i just don't feel like it that's when you tell their signs when you're lying that you don't want to have sex with their husband that's when it's time to tell him uh, what's going on. So you're unhappy. That's one sign. Now, the next thing that you should do, you should always consider the feelings of the other person that you have to relay this information to. So you want to proceed with caution. Now, I tell you that women, you already know men have egos and they're very proud and prideful and that can hurt their egos for you tell them, oh, you know, telling your husband that he you're not being fulfilled um, sexually and you are bored with your sex life. And so you 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 do some things to open up that communication and that it can it can happen um, with ease. It's not it, you know, it won't be in no instances of trepidation or or tension and you don't want to criticize them don't criticize them just you know make some nice suggestions without it coming out as critical or you being pushy um and then after you tell him then it's a di- communication is a dialogue between two people now you have to listen to him now there might be some things that he's going to tell you about you that's going to be an ouch moment 
that you already knew things that you needed to do and should have done a long time ago and just kind of ignored and now you can't ignore them any longer and it and these things need to be exposed don't be upset when these things are these things are exposed when he tells you that okay well I'm unhappy too and these are a few things why be able to willing to be open minded not slow to anger and be able to work on changing the issues so you guys can have a fulfilling fulfilling sex life in your marriage then the last thing you can do to help with your intimacy and open up the communication to really have that talk do a nice gesture initiate give a gift we always expect our men to give us nice gift give give your husband a nice gift maybe a nice card um, or take him out on a romantic dinner or you can um, you can tease them with a little nice nasty text uh, some sexting going on um do something of acts of kindness and acts of love something that he he really likes for example my husband um is former military and he like you know like i out um i forgot what the commercial was where um the mom had the glove on <laughs> had the had the rubber glove on and went and see if there was any any um dust and you know when they see any dust you know she got pretty happy and where if there was dust you know they complain that's how he he is and he just likes everything in a particular order now our house are is clean it's real clean but he is you know really likes things to be in a certain order and and so he t he told me when we first got married i don't expect for you to cook and i told him i really didn't like to cook we said i don't expect for you to cook um every day you don't have to cook every day um and you know i keep the house clean and everything else and he was just i don't necessarily make up the bed all the time i know i'm working on that um <laughs> and so one day he I, he had been gone actually he's a truck driver so he had been gone for the last two days and i said that i was going to work on you know having a prepared meal for him a nice meal and i see my husband loves seafood and so uh, he loves shrimp and he loves um, salmon and so he came he had been gone for two days and he came home and when I say the kids actually the kids were taking a nap it was like early evening about seven o'clock kids were were taking a nap I had dinner ready and usually when I cook I put the dishes in the dishwasher or I haven't washed them yet when he came home the kitchen was spotless like you can lick the floor you can lick the countertops because it was so spotless everything was put up uh, there was no no um no dishes in the sink and he his plate was nice it looked like we was in a restaurant I had a little nice wine glass with um with his favorite alcoholic drink and some salad and salmon and he likes rice and shrimp and when I said that, turn that man on. <laughs> and that meal cost me <laughs> less than $20, y'all. But it was the thought that counts because he, I, I paid attention to what he tells me. And so I'm saying to you, do that. Do something. Pay attention to what your spouse tells you and then do that. Just do it on a whim. Surprise them and do that. And that will make it easier to have the conversation. Say, look, baby, we can do better in our in our sexual relationship. It needs to be. That's part of having a healthy marriage. And this is what I, I'm asking for. Can you meet me halfway? And then he required the same of you. And then you will have a lovely marriage to see. That's what I call a marriage to see. Where marriage collides with ecstasy. And that is the best thing ever. And when that is right... Everything else in the household starts to get right. And you won't have trouble for a while. <laughs> so I so you can enhance. And if you if you want to actually turn it up even more, there are sexual enhancement performance 
pills um, that can be used on natural to really, really turn up the fire and turn up the heat. Now, my suggestion is, ladies, and you have children, make sure that you have a babysitter for the kids. Or if they're young kids, make sure they're good, knocked out, and sleep. So they won't be waking up that they are like out for the count that you, you've, you've taken them outside and they've ran, ran, ran. Or you've taken them to the pool and they just play for several hours that they are not waking up for anything. And so women, this is our all natural sex and sexual enhancement pill called love it's going to help with libido it's going to help increase your moisture in that area it's going to help with sensitivity in that sensitivity in an area where you can have um a great orgasmic experience it can also help with um infertility it has been known to help with um you know when we have problems with stabilizing our hormones stabilize your hormones and so i'm not making any medical claims i'm just saying um from personal testimonies of women that I have um, given this product to and have bought this product from, from me and also personal experience. I'm going to tell you this is an awesome product to just want, just just try it. Just try it and see how you will drive your husband wild with love. So I pray for good fortune in everything that you do and for your good health, that your everyday affairs prosperous as well as your soul. Hey, stay connected to me and follow me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Not only that, I will have a link where you can purchase. The love is very inexpensive. I also will have a link for you to follow me on my blog because I'll have um, a blog on, on what we just had a conversation about, which is how to have a, have a talk about sex with your husband. And I want you to follow me on Facebook. I want you to connect with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Periscope. You guys have a wonderful, 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 lovely, romantic weekend. Bye-bye.